With our, the state our says, business is in the state? The state says no. And the state says that the Air Resources Board folks say that they will be subject to the same rules regardless of what state they're from and what state they're located in. So but, but I that, brought up the example of a Mexican block, you know, a Mexican truck coming up under NAFTA or one coming from Canada, and they said they're still subject to the regulation. And I asked them, how? You, and, you but, can't have a rule that's more stringent than that. They're really not, because for California to come up with that type of regulation, say they can't operate it, that's in direct com conflict with the, with the federal interstate commerce code. I, so I they can't have it both ways. I, I, that needs to be addressed, because what are we, we going to do? Put our California business people out of business? Or I guess some of them would be lucky enough to retire, but you know, there, there's some of us that are not able to retire yet. And you're going to put us out of business? You know, we're going to watch either Mexico or even Nevada or Oregon come and do our business in California and then go back to Oregon where they don't even pay state sales tax or state income tax. And yet our companies and business people just got to sit by and watch. Who's looking out for California? Well, and when, yeah, when the rule is, when, when there's a final version of the rule because they're still in the draft stage, um, I, I tend not to like have the board comment on draft rules. I do that for staff, and then we have you guys comment on the final rule. I, I, I think I'd like to bring that to the board. That particular issue is, is one of the issues we highlight. Well, my main so, question is, yeah. is our governor even aware of the implications of this something he's going around touting how he wants to make the cleaner air in California? It's even... You know, I mean, um, don't he don't he need to know what's I'm, I'm not invited there? to the smoking tent. Exactly. Exactly. The next sentence I said that wants to be help business people in California. I uh, we have a sheet in our office uh, for folks who come in and have concerns about these rules that has their state elected officials lose their contacts on it, and um, he's, he's on the top of the list. Whether he listens to those calls is another question. I mean, I, I really do feel that these rules unfairly impact rural areas um, because they don't look at usage. So to, to say the standard for, for something that runs 24 7 in Oakland, in downtown Oakland, and the standard for something that runs two days a year in Mendocino County are the same, doesn't reflect the economic realities. And one of my big issues is how the state on these rules is doing their economic impact analysis is they are looking statewide. And they're saying the economic impact is positive statewide because we're going to have all these new equipment sales. Well, those new equipment sales are going to be in the urban areas where the, the dealers are and they're where in the industrial areas where the manufacturing of the equipment occurs, which is not very much in California. But the, the impact and the money is coming out of the rural areas. And, and that's what my concern is. This is such a huge issue, and I don't want to take a lot of the board's time on this, but it's the biggest devastating effect that's going to come down. What are, what are we doing as an air quality district to fight this, rather than just sitting back and saying, well, you know, the state's going to do it, and we have to do it. What, what are we doing as a local air district to fight this? Because it seems like the more we have better air, the more penalized we're going to be. You know? We, you know, I have talked to staff, and I have expressed many of these issues to their staff, and I've had expressed concern about the rules drafting process that they're following. Because one of the things that they're doing is they're saying we're not subject to CEQA, which technically they may be correct, but I do feel that, that they need to allow for more public input. They need to address the impacts of these rules. And to just claim an exemption um, and say they don't have to address the impact is, is really, I think, unfair to the public. What, what can we, excuse me, what yeah. can we do, I'm going to shorten this up, right. what can we do is that is the board of supervisors is the air quality management district, what can we do to be more proactive to to bring these issues out? It don't seem like we're doing enough. The right. timetable is just taking away and we're just sitting back and saying, well, we'll just have all of our business people retire in this county, I guess. Well, you know, I, I we, we, we need to be more proactive. This is a, probably one of the hugest issues is coming along in Mendocino County, and it's the time frame, is, the, the marching is just going on, and I don't feel that we're, uh, we, we need to do something proactive on this. Well, I, and I want to say, I think there's, there's a couple of different ways to approach it. As the Air District, um, we don't have a lot of traction in Sacramento. Um, that's just fact of life. We're, we're a little tiny blob, blob on the map, and none of the Air District board members are from anywhere north of Sacramento. Um, so they don't understand the rural perspective. The rural representative on the Air Resources Board is from Fresno. 
Um, she's relatively responsive, but I, I wouldn't call her in a rural area at this point. If you can hear me. The, um, but I think as the county, as Mendocino County, I think you actually have more weight in Sacramento um, than you do as an air district. And you also have lobbyists on staff that, you know, that, that the county is hired. And I mentioned this before, that's the part of that meeting, is that we need to get more plugged into the regulatory process. Um, and Tom seemed to agree with that. Um, seemed like something he wanted to get into. So I think the county needs to step forward. And I also think that some of the economic development angles need to step forward. Um, you know, those are those are things that I'm not plugged into. Um, but as an air district, frankly, Sacramento as a rural air district are not going to listen to us. And I wish I was otherwise. Um, we are trying to set up a meeting on the ad funk rule. I, I emailed the chairman on this, where we'll have one member sit down with one air resources board member and some other county uh, or air district members uh, from Northern California and get them together. Um, but I think we need to direct our efforts at the Air Resources Board membership, not to the chairman who is proven to me at least that she's not interested in what we have to say, and not to the executive director who is proven to be 